This video will provide you with instructions on how to prepare a sample for the Niton Apollo handheld LIBS analyzer. Before proceeding, a variety of materials are required to perform sample preparation. Safety glasses, gloves, a high-speed right-angle die grinder, 60 to 80 grit sanding discs made of zirconium aluminum oxide, quick change rubber backing wheels, and cleaning solvents such as isopropyl alcohol or acetone. Unlike with handheld XRF, proper sample preparation is essential to achieving accurate results. Trace amounts of contaminants, such as grease, paint, or scale, may yield unreliable outcomes. Follow this tutorial to achieve the best analytical performance and minimize invalid results. Before we begin, safety is our top priority. Be sure to wear safety glasses and gloves when using high-speed grinders to prepare samples. To begin sample preparation, start by confirming acceptable testing locations. Locate a flat and easily accessible area. Prepare a space approximately one square inch for easy positioning. Before grinding, clean the area to remove oil, grease, or debris using a basic cleaning solvent such as isopropyl alcohol or acetone. Grind the sample by working the sanding disc near parallel to the surface to avoid dishing. Move the grinder in one direction so as not to cross-contaminate the fresh surface. Avoid using excess force and maintain control of the grinder to prevent removal of excess material. Keep in mind that areas where coatings or paint have not been completely removed will yield poor or unreliable results. Once grinding is complete, remove and discard the sanding discs. Avoid touching the area. Instead, handle the sample from the sides, as oils from the skin can contaminate results. You have now successfully prepared a sample for the Niton Apollo LIBS Analyzer. For more information, visit thermofisher.com forward slash Niton Apollo.